Good morning. Top political clown of the year, 2023. Clown, retard, idiot, asshole, master of darkness, politician of 2023. This is the list. Well, it's not really a list. Okay. No, it wasn't hard this time. Very easy, actually. Now, something is going on in Europe. We don't have any bad politicians left. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I was joking, right? But, uh, you know, we have something going on in Europe. <laughs> There's a right-wing wave going on, you see. So, but of course, there are some very bad politicians here. You know, for instance, Sweden. We have terrible politicians in Sweden, but they are not bad enough. Well, I don't think they make it into top 50, you see. And I think the same for Australia and New Zealand. I'm sorry. Your guys are not bad enough. You had bad people there, right? <laughs> but they left, they are gone. And I'm sure those who replaced them are really idiots or something. But they are not bad enough. But I have some names here from Europe that I want to mention. Right. Uh, Rishi Sunak, UK. Macron, France. Donald Tusk, Poland. Ursula von der Leyen in Brussels. Somebody named her Ursula Fond of Lying. <laughs> That's pretty good. Leo Varadkar, Ireland. Uh, Mark Drakeford, Wales. See. So we have some really bad ones. And they make it into the top list, of course. I would probably put Leo Varadkar on top. You know, it's been around for a long time. Look what what it did to Ireland, this beautiful, fantastic country of Ireland. See, totally ruined it. So I'll put him on top. Maybe you know, Ursula. She's so awkward. You know. And Tusk, Donald Tusk. Now he is he's, he's new. Maybe next year Donald Tusk will be the winner in Europe at least. I know this guy is bad. Tusk. If you want a winner, you need to go west. There you have them, you see. You have Lula, the president of Brazil. And Joe Biden and Justin Trudeau. The deadly trio. <laughs> Lula, he stole the election. He's a criminal, communist, top globalist puppet. What he's trying to do to Brazil is just awful. And then you have Joe Biden. You know, I think he's a problem to the top globalists, to Rockefellers and those guys. Because, you know, he's falling over sometimes. It's hard for him to speak, you see. So the Americans, they feel embarrassed about Joe Biden. I think they wish he was 20 years younger. They had to go with Joe Biden. See? And I think they made a mistake. They had Obama. was great. Great for them, for the Rockefellers and those guys. See, Obama was perfect. And then they wanted, of course, Hillary. But she lost, didn't she? One of the best days of my life when she lost. I know if Hillary was in the White House, she would be the worst. Uh, maybe ever. Possibly. But now they have Joe Biden. And I think the top globalists, they, are sort, of, they sort of envy Canada. Because there you find Justin Trudeau, and he's a young guy. And he doesn't fall over, and he can speak, you see. So, the winner is, of course, Justin Trudeau. There was no contest this year. 
Look at what he's doing, what he did to Canada. It's sad. That's the word. I was watching this video. You know what he did, all right? Well, you do, I'm sure. But I was watching this video. Uh, let's see, what's his name? Adam Nucci. He did a video, Canadian guy. And he said, well, the title of the video was this. Why I'm leaving Canada forever. Seven reasons to leave Canada now. And normally I don't like people complaining about their country. See, they complain too much. But something caught my interest. I watched the whole thing. I was unpleasantly surprised about some of the things that he said. I knew it was bad in Canada. Right, but he's talking about these things. I don't know what to say. No, this It's uh, such a surprise, really, that he's still there, just in Trudeau. Something is so wrong here. He's got some support. You know, I don't think, I'm not sure, but I don't think they had to rig the election even. And now his popularity is at the bottom, but he's still there, he's got some support still. This other party, I forgot the name, NPD, I think, maybe. NPD, I think so. They support him. What's going on here? No. Oh, he has to go. He should never have been there in the first place, of course. Anyway, so just into door, you're the winner. You're the top clown politician of 2023. Or Master of Darkness. The title that suits you, Justin. I have a prize for you. Here it is. It's a lighter. It doesn't work. But I thought I should give this to you as a prize. Nice, isn't it? So green, nice. So you need to come and get it. You need to come here alone without your security guards and I will give this to you, I promise. I will slap you too, if uh, maybe you like this. For 20 minutes or so I will slap you. Right. But then you will have this light uh, to bring home to Canada. Right. Now, I'll make this video today. There will be no video tomorrow. I want to wish you a great Happy New Year. This will be a fantastic year. I know it. I think you know it too. It's going to be very, very exciting. And we have a war. It's pretty good, I think, this war. You know, it's easy to get excited about it, at least, see? And we are winning. That's the thing. A lot of work to be done, still, but we are winning. All right, Justin, congratulations. What a nice prize, isn't it? <laughs> and the slapping, don't forget. You will have the slapping, too. Right. I will be off. I will have a break. Great people are coming over for a few days. I don't know how many days it will be, but I, I take a break from making videos. So I'll see you later. Right. Again, Happy New Year to you. Be good.